Hey guys! I hope you guys are healthy and I hope you guys are staying safe and if you're new around here, my name is Linda Oro and I hope you guys can join my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below and if you guys are returning viewers, I really appreciate it, I'm thankful for you and welcome back. So in today's video, as you guys can see by the thumbnail, I'm going to try to make some of the Starbucks drinks here at home because as you guys might know, I spend too much money at Starbucks and so I'm not trying to spend that much money there anymore so I decided to try and replicate these drinks here at home to see if I can make them to see if they taste the same and I'll let you guys know how good they are from a scale of 1 to 10 we are going to be making the drinks one by one and then we are going to try them all at the end because some of the drinks um, I don't want to stir them because I want you guys to see them how like it looks like the one from Starbucks so yeah we're gonna be making them one by one and then all the way at the end of this video you can see um, how I rate them from 1 to 10 and how they taste I'm gonna describe everything so yeah let's get started with the first drink okay guys so the first drink we are going to be making is the vanilla bean frappuccino I'm gonna add two scoops of vanilla bean ice cream I'll, I'll add three just in case I'll add three because I'm not going to be putting ice in this. I'm just going to use the ice cream and then add milk into this. I'm going to be adding half a tablespoon of vanilla into this. And then I'm going to be adding about halfway with milk. And I have like a whole bunch of little cups, guys, because I go there all the time. And we like to recycle them, you know because they're good cooks you know so I'm gonna be making all of them a grande because all of these drinks I'm gonna end up drinking myself and I'm not gonna want like four venti cups of this so all the drinks I'm going to be doing today are going to be grande so I added the three scoops of vanilla bean ice cream and half a teaspoon of vanilla um, flavoring into this and then I just added a uh, milk to the second line so we're going to be pouring this into the blender and let's blend it to make it into a frappuccino. I think that is good enough and I learned this from my nephew. He likes adding caramel drizzle to the cup and also to the whipped cream. So we are going to be Pouring this into the cup. Nice and pretty. And some whipped cream. Let's like pretend like we're baristas right now. Ooh guys, doesn't that look like an actual Starbucks drink? Like, come on. Just call me Linda the Barista. And we are also going to be adding some caramel drizzle to the top. I'll be honest with you guys. I'll let you know if it actually tastes like it. Like an actual Starbucks drink. So that you guys can start saving some money. Okay, but make sure when you guys buy your ice cream, make sure it says vanilla bean ice cream. Because there's a vanilla flavor. But I think that's a different flavor than this. But yeah, make sure when you buy your ice cream, it says vanilla bean on it and i'm pretty sure it'll be the same thing okay so let's move on to the next drink okay guys so the next frappuccino that we are going to be making is the s'mores frappuccino i don't know about you guys but i love this drink and i hate it's only like available during the summer like when it's hot and stuff so we are going to be making our own um s'mores frappuccino so we are going to be adding some ice into this one let's do about right there and I know it has coffee in it, so we're going to be adding, and this is just like regular instant coffee. It's not like flavor it or anything. We are going to be adding like right to the first line of coffee and then some milk. I'm just going to add it to like the last line on top. We are going to be adding this into the blender to make it a nice little frappuccino and press blend we're going to be layering it like they actually do at starbucks so i brought 
I bought some marshmallow fluff because I know they put marshmallow fluff into it. We are going to be adding some into the cup. Okay, and we are going to be adding in what we put in the blender and adding some whipped cream onto this as well. We also have the lid, guys. I'm telling you, we save everything in this house, so. Doesn't that actually look like an actual Starbucks drink? Like, come on, especially with the lid. I forgot to add the lid on the last drink, but it's okay. We can go back. So now let's move on to the next drink. Okay, guys, so for the next drink, we are going to be making an iced caramel macchiato. Let me tell you a quick story, guys. When school was open and I had an 8 a.m. lecture this was my lifesaver I would drink it every morning if I could like that drink will wake you up because it has like so much coffee in it and I would get a venti can tell you now that that got me through a lot of my tests a lot of my lectures so let's go ahead and make this at home guys okay so I'm not, I know the regular ice caramel macchiato is made with like 2% milk or whole milk but I usually ask for it with almond milk because it gives it like a Nice little flavor, you know. So we're gonna fill this up to about like three-fourths of the way. And then we're gonna add our coffee on top. Oh, let me add the ice first. And then we are going to be adding the coffee on top to give it that ombre look. Oh, I should have added caramel to the bottom of the cup, but I forgot. It's okay though. We can just add it and then it'll sink in. I always ask for extra caramel on this one because this one is really bitter. Our coffee on top. I don't really like when they add whipped cream on this one because when I do that, they always give me the lid. Like it makes it fat so they give me a straw with this one and I don't really think this one needs a straw. So I'm just not gonna put whipped cream on this one but we are going to put extra caramel on the top and I also have my lid okay we are having technical difficulties those lids aren't fitting but they should Okay, this lid fits much better. But look at that, guys. This actually looks like a drink you get at Starbucks for like $7. And when you can make it here at home, you know. And we're going to put this aside and taste it at the end. We are going to be making the white chocolate mocha iced. So you are going to need some white chocolate sauce and add a bunch of it to the bottom of the cup. I add it on the sides too. I mean, I don't think you can ever have too much white chocolate sauce. We're gonna add some ice. I'm also gonna be making this with almond milk because I love almond milk, guys. And then we are going to be adding the rest. of the coffee in here. Ooh, look at that. And you know what I'm gonna do? Add some more white chocolate sauce to the top. And if you're feeling a little bit crazy, you can add some caramel onto this as well. You know, caramel and white chocolate sauce are the best. At Starbucks. See, it fits on this one. Why didn't it fit on the other one? Okay. Okay, you can see that white chocolate sauce on the bottom. And look at that, guys. We are going to be mixing this one. They always give you this one mixed, you know, to mix in the white chocolate sauce all over the coffee. Okay, guys, now we are going to try them all together and like give them a taste test. Rate them from a 1 to 10 and see which one is the best. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are all done. 
this really did not take that long it took me like two minutes to make each drink i feel like it's worth it especially if you're saving money okay guys like saving money is always a good thing you know so we are going to be trying them all together and then rating them from a one to ten so we are going to be starting off with the vanilla bean frappuccino and let's give it a nice little mix to mix the caramel on the bottom and give it a try yes guys ah oh, I love this one it tastes exactly like it I feel like since this one doesn't have any like special ingredients or anything like the vanilla bean ice cream really did make this one taste exactly like the one from Starbucks and that caramel drizzle makes it like pop you know it's really good I would give this one an 8 out of 10 because like the flavor the taste is exactly the same and I'm going to be making this for my nephew all the time now because this is his favorite go to drink from Starbucks and yeah you guys should go ahead and give this a try and see if you guys like it as much as me okay so now let's try the s'mores frappuccino because it is melting a little look at it guys it's so, you know what I did forget I don't have any um, chocolate sauce it's kind of missing that one ingredient but I have the marshmallow fluff I have the whipped cream the coffee in it we are going to be mixing this a little because of the marshmallow fluff on the bottom wow guys this tastes exactly like the one from starbucks as well yes i feel like the marshmallow fluff gives it that sweet taste because as you guys saw they do put coffee in in with the milk with the ice to blend it but it's not really that strong i only added like a little bit of coffee into into it that is delicious I'm also going to be giving this an 8 out of 10 because I'm not going to be sad anymore when they take it off the menu because I can just make it at home and so can you guys. So, you're welcome. But yeah, that deserves an 8 out of 10. So now let's try the white chocolate. Like the strong coffees, I enjoy them more iced. I don't know why. Like it's the same ingredients. It's just... I don't know, but let's go ahead and try this one as well. They always mix it, so I'm mixing it too. And, okay. Yes. 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 Linda approved. Mm. What was I doing wasting all this money? Oh my gosh. Like, recycling the cups like makes it like you can kind of trick yourself you know or like post a picture and say "Ooh, another starbucks run when in reality you made it at home you can trick people you know i've never actually done it but you know what i might start doing that because this is the same taste i'm telling you guys yes delicious I feel like I could have added a little bit more coffee into this because it kind of tastes like I put a little bit too much milk in it, but it's okay because I'm still going to drink it, you know? <laughs> the white chocolate sauce. You can taste the white chocolate sauce even though it's stuck to the bottom. Delicious. I'm going to be giving this a 9 out of 10 because like I said before, I could have added just a little bit more coffee in here and less milk. Uh, you just have to find like the right balance and you know me I never measure anything so I just poured stuff in there but I'm still gonna drink this because this is really good okay guys this is like this was my all-time go-to when I was in school so let's see if I nailed this because this is the most important one because this one will wake you up when you need the energy you know and it's got that nice little ombre effect like the one that Starbucks has. So make sure you don't mix this if you want to like take a picture of it first or something. 
so yeah let's go ahead and try this but i'm going to be mixing it because when you don't mix it you get a sip of just the coffee on top that's just way too bitter for me you know so let's go ahead and mix this one okay guys so it's nice and mixed it looks like a regular iced coffee now but let's go ahead and try it out okay okay so i did put too much milk in this because you can barely taste the coffee but i'm still learning okay this is my first time doing these at home so you can't judge me for that but you know what i also give this an 8 out of 10 this is really good guys i'm not lying wow i'm impressed by being my first time making these at home I'm impressed but when you guys saw it okay comment down below if when you looked at it when I showed you before I mixed it comment down below like tell me the truth it really did look like I got it from Starbucks right like the little ombre effect um it did look like it, it did but the taste it does taste a little bit too much milk I did pour too much milk in here but I like that almond milk so I like this drink too, you know, but the one at Starbucks is more like caffeinated Caffeinated caffeine Is that a word? I don't But um, there's does taste more like like it has more coffee in it. So um, Yeah, that's the only like Negative part I see about this one that I put too much milk in it, but it's okay guys. You can still taste the coffee. It's just that it's not as strong as the one from Starbucks. But you can just add a little more coffee in it. And it's the same drink. That is delicious. I can tell you now. Like, I'm obsessed with Starbucks. You guys know that from the videos that I posted. I spend way too much money there. And now that I learned how to make these at home. I might still go though. Like, I might still go. Nothing's going to stop me ever from going to Starbucks. But you know what? If I'm like feeling lazy that day, I don't want to go out at all. I have these options now. I can make them at home for free, you know? So I suggest you guys giving this a try at home because you might make like your own new favorite drink. You can add as much caramel in it. You can add as much white mocha sauce. Your favorite milk. The amount of ice. Like you control, you can control everything at home, you know? So... I feel like everyone will benefit from this because honestly the only thing that I needed to go buy was the white chocolate sauce I already had the caramel I had milk I had but I forgot to get the chocolate drizzle the chocolate syrup but other than that this little experiment went really good like my favorite one out of all of them would have to be the white chocolate one because the iced caramel macchiato, I put too much milk in that one. So it doesn't have like that strong coffee taste like the one from Starbucks. But the white chocolate, I feel like it's the exact same one. I'm going to be making this every day now. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys really like this. Don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up. Also hit the little bell icon and turn on your post notifications so that you guys get notified when any of my videos go up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye.